teen pregnancy costs taxpayers in the state $1 billion a year. The estimates come from a newly formed nonprofit to prevent teen pregnancy. The group held its first ever conference at the state capitol today. KXAN's Doug Shoup is there live to explain what's being done to reduce the numbers. Doug? Well, Shannon, lawmakers, social workers, educators, and advocates for preventing teenage pregnancy gathered for the conference at the Capitol today. They say teen pregnancy is a growing health care concern that absolutely must get more attention. Lauren Dixon wanted to become a cosmetologist, but six months ago, after just turning 19, she got pregnant. I had some plans. Um, with school that I'm having to cut short a little bit. Dixon now prepares for the birth of her baby and searches for a career that will support them both. It's definitely growing up really fast. You know, I graduated over a year and a half ago and I kind of thought I knew what I wanted to do, but I knew I had time. Now I really don't. The Texas campaign to prevent teen pregnancy met Tuesday to raise awareness about the issue. People refuse to address this as a public health problem. This is really what we would call it's, it's almost like a social emergency. According to the campaign, Texas has the third highest teen birth rate in the country, the highest repeat teen birth rate in the U.S., and three in ten girls in Texas become pregnant at least once by age 18. Eighty-five percent of these uh, teens will end up spending some or all their lives on some type of public assistance. It's the leading cause of high school uh, dropout. Uh, there's a huge connection between especially uh, male sons of teen moms ending up in the Texas prison system. The most important thing to understand about preventing teen pregnancy is it, it's a means to an end. What's the end? The end is better educational attainment, less poverty, a stronger Texas workforce, economically competitive because people have not started their families too soon. Campaign organizers say teens need education about abstinence and birth control and say adults must work together to send a clear message to teens why they should not have children so young. Education is the task of adolescents, not being a young parent. Dixon has big dreams and high hopes, but knows reaching them will be tougher. It's a hard, it's a hard road. Now, according to the campaign, 12% of all teen births nationwide are in Texas. They hope focusing on the issue here in our state will send a message to other states around the country. Now, for more information about the campaign, just log on to KXAN.com. Reporting live at the state capitol tonight, Doug Shoup, KXAN Austin News. And looking in depth now, teen pregnancy is becoming an issue in the race for Texas governor. Governor Rick Perry defended abstinence education during an interview this month with the Texas Tribune's Evan Smith. But we are the third highest teen pregnancy. We have the third highest teen pregnancy rate among all states in the country. The questioner's point is, it doesn't seem to be working. Abstinence well, right, education. It, 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 it works. Uh, maybe it's, uh, it's the... Uh, Maybe it's the way it's being taught or the way that it's, that it's being uh, applied out there. But the fact of the matter is, uh, it is the best form of, uh, to teach our children. The most recent figures released this week from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services show that in 2008, only Mississippi and New Mexico had higher teenage birth rates than the state of Texas.